Good morning, everyone. What a wonderful, wonderful morning it has been because it's actually half 11, so it's nearly not the morning anymore. But we have had a slow start to the day with lots of snuggles with the birthday boy who is sat waiting for some food from his daddy. Never gets any. Never gets any. <laughs> <laughs> Dad just, just throwing it on the floor for him. Oh, Miss Morning Gordon is making breakfast for us as well. I've got buttery croissants, which makes me very, very happy, as you guys will know. And I'm about to get up and ready for the day. I'm heading over to Sooster and Hicks this morning to pick up my latest bespoke piece, which they've been sharing kind of the like process of it being made on Instagram and my goodness it is such an incredible piece so I'm really looking forward to going and picking that up we've got a very special meal planned for Porty we were thinking like what do you get the dog that has it all <laughs> already for his birthday and we thought about I don't know getting him like a puppy cake but I was actually quite glad that we didn't do that in the end because Carrie said that she was a bit disappointed when she got Bolly one and so I thought, you know what, all he wants is like good food. Like he's got good, yeah, good food, spending time with us. That, that's all he wants. So we're gonna cook him a very, very lovely meal this evening. He's getting uh, roast duck and mashed potato and all of the trimmings and um, probably some snugs in front of the fire as well. We might pop out for a little bonfire um, at a family friend's house in the evening but then it's back for snugs in front of the fire for the little boy so i'm gonna eat my breakfast because i have to get ready really quickly and go i'm looking a little bit worse for wear because you would have seen in my last vlog that we went out last night and enjoyed ourselves very very much and um yeah this needs some makeup so we're gonna get some makeup on our face we're gonna have some croissant and get on with the day i've actually not finished getting ready for the day. I was just trying on my outfit. I still need to finish off my hair. But um, I was gonna wear this, but I've realized I'm going to try on a jacket at Suster and Hicks. And so I'm probably gonna wanna wear some bottoms and probably something underneath. So I am probably gonna have to get changed, but this is actually something that I picked up last year, this time last year from Lily Silk, a really beautiful Merlot colored roll neck. And I have two of these because after I got this one, I actually ordered another one because they're so comfortable, so easy to wear around the house. And I thought I'd show you some other bits that I picked up from um, Lily Silk as well because they're just a really great place to get good basics from in really, really good quality fabrics. So lots of silk, lots of cashmere, perfect for this time of year, I think. Really good for little like gifts as well, if you're thinking about it, but just general basics like for underneath jackets, probably gonna work really, really well. Um, good layering pieces. So I've got a nice little stack of items that I thought that we could go through together and um, style up. So just before we head off for the day, obviously everything will be linked in the description box down below if you like any of the items. Um, but I thought this is just one stack, by the way. I've got two. Ooh. So I wanted to pick up lots of like classic, but um, like, basic items but really really lovely because the thing that i noticed about this is that i just reached for it because it was soft against my skin it was a really beautiful seasonal color great silhouette perfect for the styling that i love and um yeah so anyway let's get into what i picked up this time around so this was a oh jingle jingle <laughs> um this i couldn't resist i felt like this is very much a very me item and something that can be worn really lovely around the house. So this is a really beautiful lightweight cashmere cardigan. It comes with a tie waist. You can obviously swap that out for a belt if you want to. It can be worn a bit like a, like a, what do they call them? What do they call them? Like a lounge coat? Is that a thing? If it's not a thing, I feel like I want to make it a thing. Um, but yes, this could be worn like a lounge coat around the house, but it can also layer up really, really nicely over over items and just add an extra cozy layer. And I loved this sort of oatmeal shade. I think it, it's just, ooh, I think it's a real sort of timeless color that you're gonna get the most amount of wear out of. Very simple, it's got pockets and um, I absolutely loved it. Here's the tie waist as well. So before we get started, I do have a discount code which will get you 15% off at Lily Silk now. 
and um, that is Millen 15. So if you um and are ah during this little section of the video and you're not sure, just know that if you did want to make a purchase, you can get 15% off with Millen 15. I'll pop all of the details in the description box down below. But I've got my house coat or lounge coat on. I've actually layered it over a piece that is coming in a little bit, it might even be next, which is also a 100% cashmere jumper dress, which I think these are going to absolutely fly. This cardigan layers so perfectly over the top as well. I feel like Lily Silk need to do a jumper dress and cardigan like combo, a bit like what we did in my collections with Karen Millen. There needs to be like a coordinating cardigan for the jumper dresses. I just, it's like one of my favorite looks. So yes, I absolutely love this. It's so soft. Obviously it comes with its own like belt tie if you want the more relaxed look. Like I said, it, this can be worn around the house very easily or just belted over the top of dresses. However, you know me and you know my style and I very much like a waist belt and I love a little layered combo like this. And obviously it works super well with the oatmeal color tone over the black as well. It gives it a little bit of a pop as well, but I just think this, is my kind of outfit so cozy great great for work and that kind of thing and just really really versatile so it does come in other colors as well so you'll be pleased to know there's a beautiful cream ivory color and i think this is absolutely perfect just really lovely quality which i love um, then i wanted to pick up of course the black pretty much the black version of this but actually i think i prefer this one because I'm not sure if you can see if I can get far enough back, but this has quite a uh, tight ribbed hem and I prefer jumper dresses that don't have that and they're a bit more A-line. This is what you want and actually this is perfect because you can belt this in and I just think it looks a bit more flattering, gives a much nicer silhouette. So if you're looking for the updated version of this jumper dress, then I've got the black version here, but um, I hope they do it in this color eventually as well, because I think this color is so nice. Such a great seasonal piece, but obviously I don't think I've ever walked past a jumper dress and not bought it. So this was definitely going in my basket. So this is the black jumper dress on, and I definitely prefer this shape on me to the one that I had from last year. It is super, super soft. I think the other one is a mix. I think that's like a cashmere mix and silk mix, whereas this is just pure cashmere. So it's really lovely and soft. So easy to style up. Like I would probably put this on with a belt. I'll style it up to the side, obviously, but I would put it on with a belt. You can layer cardigans over the top of this and then cinch it in with the belt. This will also look really lovely under like my Caramillan dog tooth coat. This is like the perfect piece to go underneath that. It's just wonderful. Really, really does fit so, so nicely and such a great piece, such a great layering piece. You can pop base layers underneath it as well to make it not too bulky, but add an extra layer. It's just perfect. So definitely over the moon that I chose this piece. Next up and i just think that these are the most perfect autumn also that's cashmere as well so this is fully cashmere yeah so sorry the jumper dress is a hundred percent cashmere as well so really great for popping on um, underneath coats blazers leather jackets anything like that to give you a really nice warm layer now this was the piece de resistance that stole the show for me this diamond this beautiful diamond detailed cashmere jumper. It's kind of more of a slouchy fit, which I love, with a slight delicate bell sleeve, roll neck, perfect for tucking in with trousers or skirts, probably more skirts for me. But also, I really like soft, good quality jumpers like this for layering over leggings at this time of year, when I'm just having one of those days where I want comfort and coziness, but still to be able to like get on with things. So, so great for that. So I got this in this like beautiful butterscotch color, nice tight cuffs as well. And just, just gorgeous really. So, so soft. That, that is the one thing that I would say about these pieces is they're so soft, but they are so, so soft. And that is exactly what you want against your skin at this time of year. So I popped this diamond jumper on with this particular caramel and skirt. Um, I've gone for more chocolatey tones. 
So some Louboutin suede chocolate boots and some LV accessories because I always feel that they really give a nice like richness to an outfit. Just to show you the length of the jumper on me as well for reference but it comes to about there so like I said to wear it more casually with like leggings and things like that it works really really well cover the sort of like mid area um, and still be lovely and soft and snuggly. Looks lovely like this with the skirt as well, but I always prefer to kind of show the detailing like show. But this is just a super cozy, comfy outfit. You could even stick the oatmeal cardigan over the top to add another layer and make it super comfy. Um, but these are just the most perfect in terms of like a basic jumper, soft, amazing quality but also has a little bit of detail and can be accessorized and changed up in so many different ways so i'm super super happy with the colorways the finish and i think that you guys like so many of you now have experienced the quality of these being able to get them in stock and also getting just little tiny different design details that just add to the outfit i think it works really well and i don't know I'm not sure if you remember, I used to have a bit of trouble at this time of year because I um, would want to stock up on lots of cashmere basics and they sell out in all of like the major retailers, they sell out and I feel like this is such a great place to order in bulk so that you've got these items ready to go, ready to layer up in your wardrobe. So it's kind of like my little wardrobe hack that I'm telling everyone about. <laughs> Hopefully you don't buy it all so that there's some left for me. <laughs> Sorry about that, my battery died. I need to get better equipped with my um, equipment. <laughs> okay, so now we are on to some silk bits and pieces and I just, I cannot cope with these. They are so, so beautiful. I'm gonna give these a bit of a steam, but this is the most beautiful silk blouse with pearl buttons. And this is quite possibly my favorite neckline on everything. Dresses, jumpers, this beautiful high neck. Especially for me, it's a, a bit of a style staple at this time of year. They've got ruched sleeves, which give a nice little kick, a nice little elevation to um, your shoulders. And then it has this really beautiful detailing to the cuffs. So the cuffs will come in like tapered. I'm gonna show you what I mean when I pop it on, but I got this in pretty much every single colour, so it comes in this beautiful ivory. Another wonderful layering piece, like if you like pinafores, I know I love a lot of sleeveless jackets at this time of year, so a really, really great layering piece. Okay, so the silk blouse is the underdog of the haul, and you know I love an underdog. Wowzers, once you get the, the pearl detailing buttoned up, that is when this blouse comes alive. It's got the perfect amount of structure to the shoulders and this neck detailing and this high neck is absolute perfection. It does also come in the blush and the gold color as well. I personally love how classic the white with the leather is. I just feel like this looks so, so beautiful. Again, you can add a beautiful red lip to this and it will just elevate the outfit so much and just make it a bit less monochrome. But for me, this is the actual dream blouse. The pearl detailing that cinches in the cuffs so that they're tighter is absolutely beautiful. You can have them looser as well. It's kind of like a two-way cuff. But for me, this gives me all of the Chanel vibes and I am utterly, utterly obsessed. It's so elegant, so timeless and works so well being kind of Given a little bit of attitude with the leather, it also goes with my accessories particularly well as well. So I am absolutely in love with this. Obviously it does come in the other colorways as well, but this for me is the absolute winner. Then of course, of course, the diamond knit jumper. I got it in ivory because what a classic and such a great length as well for shorter skirts. Like this with a leather skirt, tights and boots is gonna be such a timeless but a beautiful look. And also, if you've got a Chanel brooch or anything like that, it will look so, so beautiful on this, this fabric. So great for styling up. So this is the diamond jumper. I've styled it with one of my favorite leather skirts because it has so much detailing to it that I think it gives it quite a, quite a fashionable, is that the right word? I feel like that's a really dated word to use, but like quite chic. 
It basically adds a lot of detail to what is essentially a very classic outfit, but I just love this kind of twist on the skirt. And then adding the diamond cashmere jumper. I think the sleeves give a really nice amount of detail as well. I've then added a Chanel brooch and one of my Chanel bags because I always feel like ivory and black, especially with a touch of leather, you cannot get more of a like iconic Chanel look. I have teamed it with some leather Le Boutin boots, but this is a personal favorite from the actual like entire haul because I think that this is just so cozy and yet looks really, really, really lovely. So yeah, it's all about the accessories, I think. <laughs> And another colour of the jumper dress, which I actually think the jacket that I pick up today is going to look so perfect, layered over the top of this. This is just the most beautiful kind of warm grey marl. It's like a brown marl, I would say. And again, it's got the much looser hem, which I personally prefer. Roll neck, absolutely beautiful and so, so soft. You're gonna see me wear this a lot. So again, we have the cashmere, 100% cashmere jumper dress in the more oatmeal-y, greyish kind of colour. And this is such a great colour for like layering with blacks and giving it definition against the blacks. I think this one is going to be so, so useful. You can style this up with like browns, but also like an all black outfit, but also rich it up a little bit. So you can probably add some like tan accessories as well. So making full use of the tan accessories that were quite big during summertime, actually just dressing this up a little bit more. So just going with a few richer accessories just makes it a bit warmer. But again, this works super well with black accessories as well. And cardigans layered over, and it's just a really lovely outfit to wear to feel warm and cozy. So I think in as many colorways as you can get these, I would get them because I am gonna go on and see if there's any more because I am going to live, literally live in this. And then of course, in the uh, cashmere cardigan, I also got it in ivory as well because this will be such a beautiful item to layer over dresses. When I get a little bit cold, I feel like it's so, so much easier to just throw a really soft cardigan in a bag or throw it over the nook of your arm if you're worried about getting cold at this time of year, especially if you're going to like dinner parties or drinks or festive drinks with people. This is gonna be such a perfect winter shade and look how lovely it looks with this Merlot. What a great layering piece. I actually thought that the cream cardigan would look really lovely over this little get up as well. Just as another layer to add over the top that almost feels like it's supposed to go together. It goes really nicely with the diamond jumper. Obviously you've got the tie waist if you wanted to or if you wanted to add a little bit more attitude you could go with a waist belt with this as well. Obviously if you want to be a cozy sloth like me you can also wear it as a a lounge coat or a house coat but personally I think they're too nice for that but if you're very very bougie then you might want to but I just think that these things are just so lovely and soft and cuddly and cozy that they work so well for houseware because you feel comfortable and it feels like you're in your nice cozy cashmere at home but actually you're in lovely beautiful outfits that look nice so um yeah I just think these are so brilliant so yes, those are some of the items I picked up this year from Lily Silk. Just great general basics and really good to kind of like stock up on a few of them. Not trend pieces whatsoever. These are all timeless basics for your wardrobe and I think that that's really, really important. Like I love that a year on I'm still able to wear this. There's no like overly trend driven functions to this. This is just a really great, good quality jumper dress and they can just tweak the, st the style slightly, but generally it's just it's an all rounder, so I love it. So I'll link everything in the description box down below with my code, and of course I would have tried pieces on uh, for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> but I am gonna jump out of this now and get some trousers on so that um, I can try on my jacket properly when I get to Seuster and Hicks. So um, I'm gonna get going before I'm late. I need to finish off my hair as well, oh my goodness. Well, this is my outfit for the day. I've got a bash blouse on that I think is probably two years old and I've got my Karen Millen waistcoat and then I've got my Karen Millen coat because I actually think that Seuster and Hicks will quite like this coat. I'm pretty sure they make coats similar to this so I thought I could take it with me, maybe get some inspiration for some bespoke pieces. Adenola leggings for pure comfort and Hermes boots and Hermes bag 
and very, very ringlety hair that needs to drop. I don't know what it is with um, my hair at the moment, but it seems to be holding really, really well. And I'm like, no, can you just drop a little bit, please? Uh, but I'm gonna jump in the car now and head to Seaster and Hicks for the afternoon. Hello. Um, okay, we are in the car. Obviously I'm going in, in this car because it's not often I get to drive nowadays, so. It's always good fun. I've actually picked up a little jar of my chutney to take them. Uh, hopefully they enjoy cheese and wine because I did see them at um, Woven Mosaic many times. So I thought this would be a nice little gift for them to enjoy. Maybe one day when I'm not a YouTuber anymore, I'll be like a professional chutney maker and I'll supply Woven Mosaic with chutney. Can you imagine? I wonder what my brand would be called. Anyway, I'm gonna set up my sat now and head over there now. Okie dokie, see you when we get there. I have many layers on today. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a bit chilly out there. Oh my gosh, it, the, the temperature has dropped yeah, so much. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Don't want it wet and dank as they call it. Yeah. He's got the hair away for you, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's the pink in that that yeah, makes it. That, like, it's so sets rare. It off. Otherwise, it just looks like a typical country jacket. But yeah, that, that just looks. It gives it another edge, doesn't it? Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was, it was pulling a little bit. Yeah, oh my go. goodness! Oh, it, it's, it's even better in person. Like perfect length on the sleeves as well. Yeah, because you're quite long in your arm, and obviously it's the shoulder width as yeah. you know. It's getting that width of shoulder. Without making it look like an American footballer, but that's yeah. you, of course, that's the, with your hair. Yeah. That's you. So your arm is there. That's yeah. how it fits you perfectly. But I've said to you before, if I can't make you look good, enough, yeah. I'll give up. <laughs> 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 so actually, shoulder's quite good because what we need to do then is pull this all in. Mm -hmm. How does the sleeve look feel on you? Uh, it's quite long. Yeah. Feels lovely on the skin though. No, that's that's the merino. Yeah, it doesn't itch at all. No, it won't. But when you put the silk and cashmere on, <laughs> this will feel Chef's like kiss. That. This will feel like something. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll do that in, we're going to do one in the cave on it. I tell you what, this is a slippery slope, isn't it? It's like, once you realise what it feels like to put something on that is actually made to fit you, you put other things on and you're like, no. I've told, I've, told you, I've told you the stories. <laughs> when a guy's come back six months after having a wedding suit made for their, grand, for their daughter or whatever, and they come back. And they say, you knew I was coming back. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you can't wear none of your old jackets, don't you? <laughs> oh, need to find a good spot for this camera because this is not working for me. There we go. I've, I've managed to rest you on my phone and I'm going to have to like come down here. So I've just finished up and I've picked up my new jacket from Seuster and Hicks. And honestly, they were like, Lydia, are you going home in your jacket? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I love it so much. This is honestly the most beautiful piece of clothing I have ever, ever owned. It's so, so wonderful. And the price, I know that people are always very interested in the price. So the price of this jacket would be 1,775, I think, to be exact, which is pretty much almost identical in price to the Balmain jackets that I have, or close ish and I can honestly say at this moment in time I would never buy another Balmain jacket because Balmain jackets are not made for broad-shouldered ladies like me and I went to put on my jacket the other day and I was like oh my god I literally like you can see my shoulders bulging out of the side so instead of buying a jacket off the rack I would rather go and have my dream jackets made and so it is expensive but I'm hoping, and because this is, I was explaining this to Jeff, I'm hoping to hopefully educate, not educate because I know that you are all very well educated ladies and gentlemen that watch my videos, but almost I'm hoping 
to share my own journey and maybe inspire others to shop in this way as well you don't have to shop your entire wardrobe like this unless you you want to but i think having some really key pieces in your wardrobe like this that have been made specifically for you is the way forward because they'll last a lifetime and if you choose the right like styles and finishes they'll they're always going to be timeless like this style is always timeless it doesn't go out of style and I was just saying how easy it will be for me to wear this with like my jodhpurs or just a pair of jeans and a jumper but also imagine this thrown over just kind of like what I'm wearing with this bash shirt like a a beautiful cotton dress in summer or springtime with riding boots a beautiful like full skirted white cotton dress it's it even works that way as well and I just for me, I, I, I mean, I'm loving doing these reels to hopefully inspire you to shop this way anyway. Also picked up, I have picked up a Christmas gift for my dad. That's one of the things that's really inspired me as well through doing this is that I know that my dad always used to have his suits made by my nonno. My grandpa's would also be made by my nonno. And so I kind of want to get my dad like a, a, a jacket made for Christmas. I also want to get some bits for Ali because I just think that it's such a wonderful touch. And they do like gift vouchers, so if you wanted to, to like pick a really lovely and thoughtful gift up for someone where they can come down and they can have pretty much anything made like jumpers and even like knitted track suits. There are so many different things that they do here. You can have a bespoke pair of shoes made, like completely made just to your style. I think it's a really, really wonderful gift for so many people and seeing as Christmas is coming up, whether you've got like, I don't know, whether you wanna spend like 500 pounds and put some money towards it. What we're doing next is doing their made to measure uh, option. So I'm getting some knitwear pieces done and made to my measurements. So some really beautiful mock turtlenecks and things like that. And I just think, I think it's gonna be lovely. I'm getting a cable knit one, I'm getting a cashmere and silk one. Just to have some options to layer underneath this as well is gonna be lovely. So you can do the made to measure, you can do the black label option and you can do the totally bespoke. I think for like my dad and for Ali, I'd really like him to have like Jeff because I don't know, like the experience that I have with Jeff, I obviously, I feel like Jeff is like one of my friends now and we just go in there and we talk for hours but it's such a wonderful experience to have like your pattern made by him and yeah so anyway i'm just brain dumping here with you but i hope you like my new jacket um we're gonna drive home now and see the little baby and um get on with the day because it's birthday boy's day but mummy's getting treats instead <laughs> right we are back home ali is currently on the driveway speaking to we basically got this man that comes around and sells like fresh fish from the sea, from like a um, refrigerated van, fresh fish from the sea. I mean, it doesn't come from anywhere else. Prawns or sea bass? Salmon and sea bass? We'll get one for now. Let's get some sea bass then, something yeah, different. So basically, what I was saying, <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, so this guy comes and asks and basically sells from his refrigerated van, fresh fish, sea bass, prawns, salmon, from the coast here in England. And obviously, so it's really nice and fresh. He obviously just cart it up here where we get it but yeah and i just thought that's quite nice but anyway i'm home i was that actual loser that left wearing their new jacket but i can't i can't cope with it and i've come home to a whole load of deliveries that looks like a lovely box of number five blooms just for me you know i'm a big big fan of number five blooms and i'm hoping that it's going to be her festive bouquet if it is we're going to get that straight in water we've got some Karen Millen bits for work. We've got a Dalesford hamper and, well, this is actually a box of goodies. They've sent this after I drank rather a lot of Leo Rosé in Provence. So we're gonna get in there. I've also got some Christmas presents and birthday presents that have arrived over there. There's lots of things. I thought, why not open it together? The time is like 3.30 and it is pretty much dark here in the UK at the moment. We've really kind of like, like almost like hit the throttle on the season and it is just, <gasps> We are so like into the winter months now. I just had to turn the hallway lights on. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so dark. So this came from Loeb and this is, Dear Lydia, we loved your reel this week featuring the secret de Lua Rose and it was such a treat for us to see it on your feed. Here's a little thank you and a bottle of our brand new Mediterranean gin by Loeb, but with some gorgeous new Dalesford glasses to try it in. It's a very big box. 
A very, very big box and very festively wrapped. I love these beautiful, like, rich red bows. So lovely. I'm guessing these are the glasses. Oh, how cute, little frosted ones. That's so sweet. And I'm guessing that this must be the new gin. I don't want to get this blooming stuff anywhere. It's good for fire lighting, but um, a certain puppy dog that is at my feet likes to chew it. He's looking at it like, oh, if you drop any of that on the floor, I'm going to chew it. I always think that the branding is so beautiful. This is their Mediterranean distilled with our olives and botanicals by Loeb. Rosemary, Leob olives, and mandarin, and sweet orange. Oh, I'm making such a mess. Oh, goodness. They've also sent us a blooming magnum of, of rosé. They're gonna enjoy that. Oh my goodness. And potentially a double mags. I think that might be a double magnum. <gasps> Wow, and I am covered, absolutely covered, in very sustainable but um, messy. It looks like we have some very, very beautiful blooms. So I'm going to get these open. Are you going to help, Porty? Birthday blooms for you. Wow. Oh, the most beautiful festive display. Wowzers. There's a little card in here somewhere. Dear Lydia, I hope you enjoy our new autumn winter bouquet. Oh, do I? I'm gonna get these in water and show you them and tidy up and I'm gonna pop a link to them in the description box because um, they always do such beautiful seasonal flowers. Vase. We need a vase, Portland. Well, all of my lovely rustic vases are currently occupied with autumnal bouquets. So I'm gonna pop it in this one, which I, I've always got a few vases knocking around. I'm gonna get this in there and give it a good zhuzh. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Oh, so wonderful. There are berries in here, beautiful blush pink roses, hydrangeas. I always call these thistles, but I don't think they are actually thistles. Twigs. Oh, preserved little leaves. Oh my gosh, so perfect. She's so good. Now I need to find you a home. Next up on the birthday menu is Porty's favorite game of hide and seeky. And then when I turn around and chase him, he's like, oh! <laughs> Come here, little boy. You ready for your birthday dinner? Little birthday dinner. Oh, goodness me. Too old for this. We just finished the amber musk candle that was in here, and I'm using one of our Christmas candles from last year, which is Frosted Cherry and Clove from Jo Malone. It's absolutely beautiful. Porty, should we put the fire on for you? He's had the fire on all day for his birthday treat and it's just gone out, so we're gonna pop it back on for him because birthday boys get the fire all day long, don't you? She's got some embers in there, Portini. Look at that porty. Exemplary fire making. <laughs> you need a wet nose. 
Hmm. Now can you hear your tum tum? It's rumbling ready for its duck a la orange. You having duck a la orange tonight? <laughs> what are you digging for? There's no treats in there. Oh, there is treats in there. <gasps> you can smell the treats. Mummy always finds treats in her pockets nowadays. There's no more treats in there. Now you're just putting your schnitte on my lady bits. <laughs> There's no more treats. Take <laughs> it off. You silly boy. Do you mind? There's no more treats in there, Fortini. You can... Oh, there is a treat in there. <laughs> You knew there was one left. You are very clever. <laughs> no more treaties. Come on. I've got a quick change into some boots and a shuffle. And as well as it being oh, as well as it being Porter's birthday, it is bonfire night. So we are having our own little mini bonfire in the woods where we live. Come on, Porty. Come on, Portaline. Good boy. Goodness me. It's going to be a big one. Dinner is served, and Porty is about to get his Vishnidalini. Porty's like. <laughs> Oh, look, there's Lummy, Lou Mimi, Mrs. I will want to. Oh, because she's not got anything. We'll give her some tuna. She won't like that anyway. Okay. Should I make her some tuna? Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Ali felt so bad then. Because Lumi's like, mm, food for me. It's like, no, you don't even like that. She only likes fish. Let's do her some tuna. We are literally wrapped round their little fingers. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Angel Flower. Can you hear the sound of tuna? Hello, Mimi. Yes, you've heard the sound of the can. Yeah. Yes. Good evening everyone. You can probably see that the light is fading and my nose, I think I've got a little bit too much bronzer on the schnute today. <laughs> Never mind. Today is Monday and I ended up having the loveliest, loveliest weekend. Saturday, what did we do? <laughs> Lovely weekend, can't remember what I did. Saturday I think we had a bit of a chilled one at the house to be honest. I think we did. Yes, a nice chilled one at the house on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we went to Soho Farmhouse for the uh, fireworks display with our friends. And it was blooming lovely. Had such a lovely time and ate so many churros. It was so good. <laughs> But it's now Monday and we are back on the grind and today is actually quite an exciting day because not only have we had, we've had the upholsterers here fitting some new blinds to the house and also our new cushion for the boot area has arrived as well. So those have been put in so I'm going to show you those. But today is more than just an exciting day because we got some blinds and, and a cushion. It is first of all an exciting day because today we made the switch from Asda shopping to Waitrose shopping. And if you are new around here, you might not know, but I am absolutely, like, I'm, I'm so excited about this, I think I might cry, because I am the world's biggest Waitrose fan. I would go to Waitrose as, like, one of those 
it's, it was like a special, a special experience for me. And I always knew that one day I would want to do my food shop there because I would want to have that specialness more often. And then COVID hit and we weren't able to make the change because obviously it was all about just getting what we needed and nothing fancy or anything like that and making sure that other people were obviously getting their groceries that couldn't get to stores and things and, and stuff like that. So it was just more important that we just got whatever and that was that. And obviously now that um, things are like on the up here in the UK, we have been able to make the switch to Waitrose. It probably seems really silly, but going to Waitrose is so much fun for me that I'm gonna make Ali sit down with me on the sofa tonight and we're gonna do our first food shop from the app. I'm gonna choose all of the yummy stuff. Like we would, we used to just go there and go and buy really nice things like olive oil, like really nice olive oil. And now um, we're gonna obviously make sure that we just get lots of yummy, lovely foodiness. And so that's really exciting. It's probably just exciting for me and people are just probably gonna, you know, say what they have to say. But it, for me, it just, this is a bit of a, a life goal ticked off that I get to have my Waitrose shopping because honestly, I remember my nonna would always go to Waitrose as a kid. Anyway, that is also not the reason why, I mean, it's an exciting day for me, but there is also other things that make it very exciting. The other thing that makes it exciting is we are getting our Christmas trees out today. Yes, our full Balsam Hill Christmas tree collection is coming out of storage. Um, we are customers of Balsam Hill and we uh, have paid for all of our trees and we have loved their products for a very, very, very long time and we're very excited to get the trees up. They won't be decorated today, they won't be decorated until later on, but it's time to get them out. So this is a tradition that Ali and I have together that we put the trees up together um, and then decorating them is a bit more of a military operation so he doesn't have a part in that. He likes to appreciate the trees once they're done and help me put them up. So every family has like different traditions and this has just kind of become one of our traditions that we put them up together and then I decorate them with whoever is helping me and I surprise Ali with the trees. So that is the plan of action for today. So I am gonna head downstairs and probably get cracking on organizing things. We're gonna obviously have to get all of the Christmas decorations down and I might try and go and do a bit of a Christmas tree decoration haul at some point but obviously these will all be videos that are going to go out during vlogmas so yeah but the trees are coming and we've got like literally I've gone all out this year we've got like I've got reindeer guys I've got reindeer actual light up reindeer we want to um, potentially put a christmas tree in the greenhouse uh, we're decorating the defender and um yeah we're going all out this is the christmas to go all out and i'm really really excited about it so that's the plan of action for today so far even though it is actually the afternoon and i've been so busy this morning it's getting to that time of year where it's very very busy um i am wearing i am wearing my black lily silk jumper dress and i added my little velvet bow my sage velvet bow to the jumper dress just to give it a little bit of a different feel i'm actually going to order some different colors of velvet to have different bows for things because I actually think that this looks quite cute. Um, you might not, but I do. And I've got some tights on, I've got boots and just snuggly layers because it is cold. Like the cold snap has happened and my goodness. It has been fires on every single night and the fur babies are absolutely loving it. So anyway, let's get cracking. Well, it is now dark and uh, it's probably gonna be quite difficult for me to show you what was installed today. But we have a new seat bench. So this was our old one. Uh, obviously it wasn't black. It was this kind of like white linen-y one, but it's, um, it didn't fit anyway. And so we got this really lovely like tartan and it's got little bits of like olive green in there then it's got a bit more sage and then a subtle amount of like blush pink Ali doesn't like it I think it looks really nice and has warmed warmed up the area a lot he thinks that it clashes with the other greens of the items that are handing that are hanging up here let me know what you think I think it looks super cozy next to the wood and the colors and it ties in the color from the door into this area as well. I really like it. Really, really like it. And then we have a very, very exciting one. That is the blind in our downstairs toilet. So this is kind of like an oatmeal-y um, linen 
herringbone finished tweed, but it's a lot more subtle than the others. So it's a bit lighter in here and just provides a little bit more cover, even though we have this big bunch of leaves. And then the final piece is in our bedroom, because in our bedroom, we needed something a little bit more covered than just our uh, tweed blind. We, we didn't want to have it completely down all the time. We like the softness that it brings, but we wanted a little bit more cover. So we've, we've gone for this linen blind, which is just so brilliant because we can see out and we can get lots of lovely natural daylight and nobody can see in and it works really well in the room. So we're super happy about that. For dinner this evening, I am going to be using some of the pumpkins that I've grown. I think I'm gonna roast some pumpkin and I'm also going to potentially make some soup. It all depends on how much time we've got. But obviously I grew this bad boy so that is obviously going to be used. Any that I don't use, what we're gonna do, we have a lot of deer in the area. So any that we don't use, we're going to mash up and put out as food for the deer because obviously it's going to be Christmas install and we don't want our fresh, lovely pumpkins to go to waste. We also have the little ones. These ones I grew as well. So these are gonna be really good for making like smaller portions, I think. So I'm gonna roast some of that make a whole load of soup and we are also going to get the Christmas tree up. Are you ready for the Christmas trees to go up? I also just had a very, very embarrassing moment because everyone was leaving for the day. We've had a very busy house today. I think we had Ali's manager here. Uh, obviously Carrie was here. Um, we also had my finance lady here and also my assistant here as well. And I celebrated when they left and they hadn't left. <laughs> I was like, we've got the house to ourselves. And then someone was still here. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. But I do, I love getting our house back at the end of the day because it's just us and it's just lovely. Anyway, we have work to do. And Mr. Mill and Gordon, yeah. I can hear the sound of you working after five o'clock. Oh, I love it. You do love it. And you need to finish because we have Christmas trees to erect. The question is... We are absolutely playing Christmas music. I just love that you are, we, we are just the same people. And I love that. You just fully immerse yourself in the Christmas spirit and I love it. I couldn't have a husband that didn't. We need to find a diffuser so that we can put the Christmas scent on as well. The pine cone Christmas fragrance. Winter. Diffuser. Yeah, the water ones that oh, put it out. What do you mean find it? You don't know where it's gone. No, I think I need a new diffuser, but I think I have a, a neon one upstairs. I am very, very excited for what this new Christmas tree is gonna look like. I think that's that's where we should start in the lounge because it's gonna take a little bit more moving about. And I think- Well, from, we've also got to think about- The olive tree. And where we're putting all of the furniture from all of the rooms. Well, we'll just have a play around. We need to have a play around, babe. Where's that going? The trunk, to the other side. We move it to the other side. I'm gonna pop some, a, a blanket and some cushions on it. And- What's happening to the plant? The plant? We may have to store somewhere. I feel like he's asking me trade questions that I don't have answers to yet. Body, what are we gonna do with the plant? We don't know, do we? I might end up leaving the right hand side how it, how it is, pulling the trunk into my office, mm -hmm. stacking these two, folding down what this is standing on. Oh yeah. And then that solves that problem, keeps my good log storage and I gain a nice new trunk in the office. No, Look at you always good. trying to steal uh, my trunks. Uh, anyway, but... yes, we'll play, we'll play around with it. Come on. I have been waiting all year to put on this playlist. I think, was it the end of last Christmas that I discovered the Downton at Christmas playlist? Well, this year we are going to very much enjoy the Downton at Christmas playlist all in the house and our Sonos works and it just makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, I feel emotional. <sighs> right, Downton. I have found it, Christmas at Downton Abbey. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. Dinner is currently in the Thermomix. We're making pumpkin risotto with bacon. And Ali is working on delegating Christmas trees to their homes. 
That's what's in its location. So the new tree is in its location and we're going to be getting that out and into situ. Porty's already barking at everything because he doesn't know what a Christmas tree is. Well, we're slowly getting the trees out. The first big one is out and homegrown, homemade pumpkin and bacon risotto is on the table. Hold on to your butts. Ali, dinner. So the first room we are tackling is the room with the new Christmas tree. There are many, many boxes of Christmas decorations and trees littering the hallway. It's gonna be a long night. Is that look big now, enough to you? Huh? Is that look big enough to you? Yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Okay. Now, instead of having to separately plug in, yeah. they've got a connection in the trunk. Amazing. So it's even quicker. Yeah. Let's grab the whole thing, let's get it up. So it's not. Whee! Well done. <laughs> okay, turn it off. It's not fluffed properly. No. Fluff it up. Look at Porter watching you. You don't know what's going on. This is his first Christmas. Well, it's not his first Christmas, but it's his first Christmas with his With family. us, yeah. Porty, your schnoot is in the way of everything. You're your schnoot, are you excited for Christmas? This little one is making a bed out of the sofa and all of the cushions on it. This one is looking extra beautiful. And this tree is almost done. I kind of feel like it could have been bigger. But I'm sure when the lights are on and there are presents around it, it'll be lovely. Should you turn the lights on? Me yeah, you do. Potty? Potty? Potty, look! You've got fluff Three, in your... Three, two, one. Woohoo! Oh, turn the main light off. Lummy, look, you just look so beautiful there as well. Got a little piglet behind me. Oh, that is just magical. Oh, poor to your first Christmas tree. Nice. So, we have our first set up sorted we've popped the lv trunk in the corner over here and dressed it with some cushions and a candle that will probably change when we have the actual christmas install done but the first tree is up and illuminated and porty is enjoying being on the sofa <laughs> tree number two is going in this is what the center island currently looks like an autumnal blanket of leaves but all of this stuff is obviously going to be going That is the sound of Ali mushing up the pumpkins in a trough, yeah, in a trough that we have. So it means that the, the hedgehogs can't get to it, but the deer can. Got a couple more pumpkins to go in there. And the ones that I grew are gonna be made into soups and yummy stuff. Okay, tree number two is up. Three, two, one. <laughs> we are on to the final tree of this floor and we're just kind of umming and ahhing about it at the moment. Oh, lovely. I'm trying to work out whether we think that it works with the chair or whether it should be the so, table. Also, look at this. It's grown from last year. <laughs> Shut up. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> what is that all about? That's obviously been pulled out or something. Can we turn that bit around to the back? Because that looks ridiculous. 
I think Porty likes it with the chair though, because it makes him feel like he's in a cubby hole. You okay, Porty? He doesn't know what to do with himself because he's like, there's so much movement that he needs to be everywhere with us, but also chewing his toys so and we, inspecting. We need to decide whether I think with the chair. I think the chair, it looks cozy. I do think the chair works really nicely. And it's that, that the tree's not so far out now that it lines up with the, with the stairs. So it, when you put something on top of it, it's going to look so much better. Oh, yeah. yeah, the, por yeah. the proportions look so much better now. Yeah. Yeah? Lovely. So we're currently sat in the living room and we've realised that this new tree is actually very, very bright. So it would probably suit like an entranceway or like a really big room. So we're thinking about potential, excuse me, what are you doing down there with that? Yes, you're showing mummy your slipper. Yes, you tinky off. So we're thinking about swapping it for the tree that we have downstairs instead. That is a wider tree. But yeah, I think you can see how bright it is there. It's so bright. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's yeah. Up a lot of yeah. Energy. But what about the colour of the light? Yeah, it's a, it's a whiter. Because? It's a sparklier one, whereas we go for cosier ones. We'll see what it looks like downstairs. Also, they may say, oh, you can just change the bulbs. I'm not going to change all the bulbs on those. Take you a million years. In fact, babe, that can be your job. <laughs> but yeah, I think, it's, I think it's too bright for a living room. It's very dazzling. I would say that this definitely would suit like an entranceway, somewhere where you're not going to sit and relax, but you want it to be a real like focal point. And the tree downstairs is my favourite tree. It's like fat and chunky and, but we'll find out tomorrow. But we are gonna leave this here. I've definitely, I've got really in the Christmas spirit though, now that these are up and we've got rid of all of the, the autumnal decor. Can you stop moaning at your I mommy? I feel like this little session of decluttering and changing. Yeah. A bit of feng shui. Yeah. It goes a long way. <laughs> You're a poet. So yeah, if you look at the lights on this tree and then you look at the lights, it seems like there's like more lights on this one. It's probably why it was so expensive. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here because the house is almost ready to be Christmified and um, get ready for... <gasps> look at that, it makes me so happy. Like shining the glass. Yeah, the way it like bounces off the glass. But this is our first Christmas with this area kind of finished. And this is going to be a really kind of rustic tree as usual to tie in with everything in here. Whereas this would be slightly more like formal, maybe some Ralph Lauren vibes, some tartan or some tweed and things like that. We're going to stick the pheasant on top of the Christmas tree. Isn't it? You liked the pheasant on I top of the Christmas tree. I just laughed. It's funny. I like to think outside of the box when it comes to Christmas. <laughs> I take Christmas very seriously. Anyway, I'm going to leave this vlog here because I think this is probably going to be the longest vlog in the world. Don't forget, if you've made it this far, I have a discount code and it will be in the description box down below. It is Millen15 and you can get 15% off this lovely cashmere jumper dress that has been the coziest little thing to get the trees up. You'll see these all dressed. Well, it'll be one of the first days of Vlogmas, so... Yeah, it should be good. See you in my next video. Bye.